We go break. That's just what the fuck we do. We break. Smelting, smelting, smelting small spears. Smelting small spears. Welcome to Nightstand. I'm Barry, this handsome son of a gun. Next to me, we call him Naz. Thank you so much for the compliment. Let me return that to you, dear sir. In what way? Hey, I'll word it differently in the future. I'll figure it out. I'll work on it. That's an IOU. It sure is. Okay, good times, good times. A little rain so, check. Oh, I love a rain check. Coincidentally, it's raining today. Hopefully, you can hear the pounding of it's, the mighty drums. It's also 116 degrees in this room. The temperature has risen uh, quite a bit since our last episode, and mm. I'm tacky. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine that lower back. But oh, You're going to have to powder that shit in between episodes. I'll pack your cyst. Here's what if we're going to do. You, Sorry. Oh, no, Duck this is the beginning. Of, okay, this is the beginning of an episode. Sure is. Uh, this is Nightstand. I've never really introduced it in this way before, but we'll start something anew today. We're here to talk to you about something that is uh, close to my heart. I mean, honest to God, I mean, what could I even do without a Mach 3 Gillette on this grizzled face if we did not have this material that is so near and dear to my neck? And that is why today, it's not even that we're talking about something, but this show is called The, the Metal, Metal Show. <laughs> Which brings us to a great point. We have a fantastic guest later who you oh. might recognize. Yeah, you might recognize him. If you've been in and around the woods and you've seen a, someone who's just been like, hey, don't you campers let that fire embers keep going. That's right. Actually, he's I'm actually not a park ranger. He works with uh, computer technologies. I was trying to imply that he's a Sasquatch, but I, of course I could not speak his language of, uh, I think they call it goulash. Oh, that's right. Right. Um, what is it called? Uh, we'll get to that. Okay. But um, let, let's start out the thing by going from, you know, we started in the Stone Age here, folks. Okay, Flintstones, you've seen the show. They have big prime ribs on the side of the cars, and they run the cars with their feet. Okay, this was a Stone Age. Yeah, but dabba do. And then, that was 10,000 to like 6,500 BC. What the hell's going on? Before Christ. Did you just get from first gear into sixth gear real quick? Big time. I'm speeding up. I'm bringing it up. Okay. I'm trying to like get the energy going. I'm going to listen as I try to get myself together. Okay, now, I say 10,000 BC. What? How many years before the Battle of Yavin was that? Because we have to say B-Y. I think it's... And then uh, we say Y-B. There's a B-B-Y. The Battle of Yavin. Before Anyways. the Battle of Yavin versus A B Y. So I, I, I'll do that math and get it on the screen. It's going to take me a lot of time based if you want. But I'll tell you this. Um, real quick, you said 10,000 years ago. Yeah. This conjures up images, again, of, I can't believe this, Mel Gibson, because he directed Apocalypto. Yes. Is uh, that in the Neolithic era? Well, I never saw it. So... I know. I had a place to go. I'm hoping you can pull me out of it. I also just thought someone was taking flash photography. But that must just be my aura from the migraine I'm about to get. You're dying in front of us on screen. Mm. So, so the Neolithic era, we have bows and arrows, we have stuff like this. The mm. first metal that was widely used to create tools and weapons mm -hmm. is... Bronze! Copper! Of course! And before the show, Barry show said the Copper Age doesn't exist, and I'm about to prove you wrong in a hundred ways. Well, look... It's not that it doesn't exist or it does exist because every question is then leading to more questions. I think what I'm more focused on is that I looked up a little thing for show prep, right? I'm on the shitter. I'm taking a look at, you know, whatever I'm doing. And every, you know, Wikipedia article I'm skimming through is like, yeah, there's the Bronze Age and then there's the Iron Age. And there's like these two massive ages that are juxtaposed next to each other. And uh, I didn't see shit. Yeah, you missed the biggest one. Of the Copper Age, but if you wanted to know if I saw shit, you eventually. Shit. Okay, so the Copper Age is incredible. Copper's easy to spot, it's easy to melt, and you can actually it's actually recyclable. <gasps> Holes in the ground! That's right. I don't know how that 
applies. No, no, no. I, I before we had uh, smelting pots, what we would oh, do? The holes in the ground. We would take a spade and we would dig out a nice hole. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm in Scotland at this point. Okay, it's dreary. Probably between the Tigris and the Euphrates, the Fertile Crescent. Uh, the it's nowhere near Scotland. Not anywhere near Scotland. But so they let's did stick to. The Tigris and the Euphrates, at least until Listen, I know for a damn the fact. Iron Age. I know for a damn fact. He may be right on the Iron Age, but I know for a damn fact there were these little subtly dug holes. Subtly dug. Subtly dug. Subtly dug. Subtly dug. dug. Holes in Scotland where these little mud people were running around and they were doing things that involved uh, some sort of metallic object. What time is it? For all you Scottish mud people out there, mm-hmm. we hear you, Hi, we God. see you, we bless you. Respect for the sh- hashtag mud buy. That's right. Um, so, right. copper was banging. Um, oh. You could easily chain, you know, melt down your weapon. It's not as sharp as stone, but it is more durable. Okay? In the days that have come since then to now, I could tell you stories about people who have melted down my weapon. Yes. And most of those people are sick. We're not mud people. We'll we'll get to our cynical bronze in a few minutes. But um, yes, as for your spears making people sick, I think the count is endless. Uh, I mean, life is long. I'm sickened right now. Oh, right. So uh, listen, about our special guests. Oh, yeah. Now, he doesn't know. Well, there's a few things he doesn't know. But it's only a few things because he's got a world of knowledge. He sure does. Um, Now, he... This is almost something that we, you know, we, well, we didn't tell him. No. He thinks he's coming he's, in cold. He thinks he's here for, um, well, first of all, his birthday is tomorrow, which we didn't know until 15 minutes ago. That's right. We have nothing for him. I'm going to have to go on Amazon. That's two day oh, prime. Yeah, yeah, two day prime. Um, Thank you, Jeff Bezos. So, Je- what? Thank you, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. That's right. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the picture of Jeff Bezos um, as a bookseller versus Jeff Bezos as getting off the chopper, but you want to talk about being metal. This guy went from a zero to a hero real quick. Of course, then no man is, uh, you know, immune to the struggles of our, uh, you know, our life. So this man got divorced and lost half his funds, which was about five to Just go to Mars, billion dude. dollars. Just go to Mars, bro. No, he, went up, he goes up in that penis with William oh. Shatner. He does that penis William Shatner. All right, it so listen. It's warm up here. So yeah, it's hot. It's coming in cold. It's going to yeah. be very hot his once he gets out here. Yeah, his name's... Did we spoil it? Yes. Edit. Edit. So, our special guest will be coming out of here, coming in cold, arriving very hot, because like I said, the temperature's 120 in here. Mm. Uh, we might need to get that little thermometer up here. Um, should laser. we go on to the Bronze Age or introduce him now? Oh, well, you know, there's not much to say other than the Bronze Age other than they started to develop writing, which, you know, is near and dear to my heart. That's true. Published three books. They all suck. Ew, Buy it on Amazon. Ew, ew. Check it out. Just search uh, Barry. They created the wheel. Mathematics. The reason... I, don't know, I think you're getting ahead of yourself with the mathematics. So bronze is an alloy of copper and tin. Previous to that, they were using arsenical bronze, which is arsenic and bronze. Now, the also, people who were smelting this material got sick because arsenic poisoning is a motherfucker. Okay. Arsenic bronze. Arsenical. Ha- arsenical bronze had You're a show. Arsenical Hall. I was going to say, who, who, who. He had That's a right. show in the late 90s, the 790s. Jesus. Oh, my God. So, yeah, no, let's get him out here. Um, so th- what do oh, we right do? Now. Like a Nextel beep or something? How do we get him here? Um, Yeah, we're going to have to call him, I guess. Let's do Hold a on. short. Let's see if he arrives. Calling Lords of Metal. Oh, my God. All right. So, yeah, let's get him. We're going to take a brief intermission. It'll be two seconds. Don't go anywhere. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in a second. He's coming. Hey, how about, please, a, ch- a cheeseburger? Or, oh, I'm going to Ferguson. Or a glass of water? No. Please. No. Do it. No. Just do it. No. Ferguson. This is Ferg. The Fergmeister. The he made it. The Ferg no. dog. No. no. Yeah. Not good? Cross the line. Cross the line already. Cross the line. See, we're two seconds in here for our first guest on Nightstand. First of all, this is like a legendary opportunity. Yeah. Right? It's an opportunity for you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's great to see you, bud. I saw another awesome show, and I can't wait to tell you about it. Do you know another metal? Are you talking about metal show? Yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm here, isn't it? Yeah, man, I locked up Bodhisattva in New Zealand with some handcuffs, bro. (laughs) I'm Johnny Utah, bro. All right, so real quick. No. So you... (coughs) 
Ooh. All right. So, no, bro. Dude, Ferg's going to heat up the fires of passion. So so real quick, uh, just a little background information. So uh, when way back in the day, if for anyone who hasn't seen our documentary, go watch it. Stop being a punk. Uh, so Ferg here was our producer uh, on that show. And since that time, we've, I think they say, rekindled. Sure have. A friendship that actually never existed because he hated us. Uh, I hated you. Oh. Can we confirm while, we're, while we have you here? Listen, the talent doesn't show up. Producer gets angry, drives car into the woods. What? what? Very Stone Age ethic here. <laughs> Jesus. Actually. Sorry. And so you've been living in the woods since? Producer angry. Oh, you know? Oh, yeah, no, that caveman shit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, metal. This is the metal show. Yeah. And we've been talking about the Bronze Age. We've been talking about the Copper Age. We've been talking about the Iron Age. Oh, I have. Wait. So, that's. Wait. Okay. So, metal, man. Once again, I've been duped by the producers. That's right. The producers. By you telling me that I'm here to talk about a metal show. That's right. right. And you want me to talk about... You have the wrong Ferguson. You need my father. Who's your father? father. My father... Besides Mr. Ferg. My father is an amateur archaeologist. He's as close to geology as you're going to get. Holy shit. Indiana Jones is like, your dad. Indy Henry, I know the way. Follow me. Ha ha. No, no, no. I thought... I thought that when I was like five or six years old that my dad was Indiana Jones. Did you ever, when, so you, I have to assume that when you were like five or six, you were showering with your dad. No. What in the hell? Oh, no, no. <laughs> my dad, uh, we showered together for a little bit. That's how I know that our genes are matched up because like I look like him. Totally. It's the Portuguese carpet. <laughs> I would call it a, uh, it's more of like a commercial. Th no, yes. No, sure. Carpet. T minus five, four, three. Ferg's gonna run out of here screaming. He's yeah. I'm here to talk about a metal show. So right. Why metal. the hell am I here? Well, let's get into it. Yeah. Your let's forget metal. The the ding 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 ding. Let's go to. Um, who is your favorite metal band? <laughs> yeah, I know you play that better than the whatever oh, else sound you just. Oh made. yeah. Let's get. Who that is your that. favorite metal band? At the moment, Luvd. Luvd. Um, I would love to play a clip, but it's probably copywritten. I'd love you to send me that link on Spotify so I can dive in. So L-U-V-D, that's a strange word. That's what's on your shirt. Um, I can tell because I was at their last show outside. You, yeah. No, there was a, there was a, it was a crafts thing at the Doubletree across the street. Right. I happened to see the L-U-V-Ds walking around doing all their things. But hey, uh, so what language is that? Gaulish. It's a dead language. I said goulash earlier. Oh, you were thinking goulash. You, you, so like, are you hungry? Well, typically, yes, I am for uh, for um, you know food. So Gaulish is a dead language, but goulash is a live soup. Order up. Is that what you understand? That's how I understand it. Okay, great. Certainly. What what's in your uh, stein? Yeah, what do you got in there? Milk. I have root beer. That's going to make it interesting driving home. Ah, oh, be careful. Jeez. Because uh, he's a father, so happy early Father's Day, by oh, the way. Thank you. Um, that. His lovely daughters, when we came to film the documentary, right. gave us this decoration right here. Right. Um, oh, the bow. It's like a little piece of wrapping it's paper. It's a wrapping paper. From the pineapple. Whenever I see that pineapple. face on that thing, though, like with yeah. the little happy eyes, a little, little mouth, I'm always like, oh, we saw that. Oh, Not shit. Good. That's a cut. Um, so... <laughs> So, have you seen any good metal shows lately? Are you, I mean, do you love Metallica, Mayhem, Slayer, like... No, Metallica will live in infamy in my soul as the antithesis of metal. Holy whoa, Lord, whoa, this is a hot take. Master of Puppets? Ride the Lightning? <clears throat> do you remember Napster? Oh yeah. Oh, God, who could forget? Oh, oh Lars, Lars, Lars. When Lars did what Lars he sucks. did... Right. I'm sorry, I can't support, I can't support a band... That doesn't enjoy spreading their music, mm. and it doesn't enjoy spreading their art to the masses. He wants that guap. But but hold on a second. I mean, but... oh Lars. Oh yeah, Lars. A lawsuit against Sean from Napster. Right. Um, you know because everybody was stealing or pirating, pirating, pirating. Next pirating. episode. Check um, it out. Pirating music for you know their own collection pre Apple iPod. But I want to get back to what you said about battery. When it's, like, when it's like, blah, 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 it's like reverse. Blah. You tell them you still don't get your nips hard when you hear that, though, despite what you know about that. Blah, blah. Brother, I haven't listened to Metallica in 
at least a decade. When we go downstairs after this, you know what you're going to hear? Blah, blah, blah. Dude, how about Rain and Blood by Slayer? Best album ever? Probably. Oh my god, so good. <laughs> hey, is Iron Maiden considered uh, yeah, Slayer? Yeah, considered metal. Is Iron Mayor considered Slayer? What is, is John Mayer considered a Slayer? Sorry. Copyright? No, no, he's good, he's good, he's good. No, it's okay. I'm a big no, fan really of that good. overplayed Iron Maiden song called The Mark of the Beat. What is it called? 6-6, six, six, what is it? Mark of the Beast! <laughs> That's not even good. We won't get sued for that since that was like... Not a song. If Chuck E. Cheese and his... <laughs> So, like, what do you think if Barry and I made a band, right? He can right. fucking, he can scream or growl. And what if we were up on stage and, like, all these metal kids were like, fuck you, man. I, I think they'd look at me and say, what the fuck are we doing here? That's right. I know. Yeah. I know. You and you would lead the Viking charge out of the building and drink out of horns. Yeah. That's what I'm. Have you ever have consumed horns? human blood? No. Okay. What the that's, fuck a, is that's a valid question. No, no. Tipago over here. What's wrong with you? Tipago? Tipago? Oh, Tipago? Tipa who? You know who they sent? Tipa who? To talk to Tipago at that congressional hearing? Oh, Tipper Gore. Was D. Snyder. Mm -hmm. Bob Denver. No. If you haven't yes. had a chance to but watch. But D. Snyder also went. D. Snyder. With his slick back, twisted slits to say. And he was like, what? Hell no, Congress. Fuck you, Tipper. What if was Tipper doing? If you haven't had doing? a chance to see the D. Snyder episode. Look it up on YouTube. There you go. After this episode. You heard it here first, right? I told you we brought a quality guest. So let's say hey, you get into a... I've never been to a metal show. So let's say you go into a metal show. It's dark like every concert before this starts. Now, I know eventually there's going to be some like real... Not real violence, but there's going to be the, the moshing and the thrashing and shit. But the energy beforehand, can you describe to us what's going through your head like five, ten minutes before they're, they're coming on? Eager anticipation. Is it, is it fists? Is it like... It depends what show you're going to see. Oh God! Are I you thought... guys holding like, um, like hammers? Are you javelins? Are you chanting? Is there anything like? No, secretly we're all judging each other on our bridal vests and how much how many hours we've spent. Let's on them. yeah, let's talk about this. This so is how a many hours this is a spent on bridal yours, vest. This is really incredible. Bridal vest. I probably got about twelve hours on this. This says Nazi scum. So this your time like... will come. Oh, yeah. I agree. I, I agree. also very women belong in places where decisions are being made. I like this. Destroy That's... fascism. Rock against racism. Go off, King. Punk rock saves lives. All your, Punk rock saves all lives. your base are belong to us. Well, yeah, that's from the 90s. I mean, come on. I'm from the Gamer, 80s. Ga Gamer. Gamergate? Gamergate 2009. Right. Gamer no, I'm no. Right. Am I all right? Have you seen the show? Oh, he hasn't watched the show. No. Uh, no, he's never seen the show. I still haven't been paid for me last show. For me last show. I have not been paid oh, for I mean, me last hours show. Where are we at your house, Ferguson? I'll, I'll Venmo you 515 to... 10 times 2. That's we were the only there for reason two. why I'm here. We were... $10.30? $10 okay. That's your vid mowing. You're the leader. You're the fucking whatever. I hate, but yeah. No. You have Venmo? Yeah. So. What right. is that? So interest at 8% plus 20 years. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Christopher, Christopher, He's Christopher. Us. He's banking. To dunking. think that you were named after Christ and you come at us like this money making shit. Wow. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was this a severe ac accusation? <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. He's like, hey, what I'm here for you? money. Okay. I feel like if you were at Helm's Deep, right, and the uruk -hai were getting on the stones being like, you'd be like, kring, kring, like ready to go. Am yeah. I wrong? Or is it just, I don't know. I'd be off to the side saying, what the fuck is going on? True. Pacifist, go off, bro. Mm. Go off. If I was at Helm's Deep, is that a Lord of the Rings? Dude, if you were at Helm's Deep, you'd be like, eh. No, I don't do, eh, eh. Penny for the... What the fuck? No, I don't do that shit. I bring up the big sword. Oh, right. And I'm like... <laughs> oh, the spear! Oh, Barry... Barry means spear. Barry does mean spear? It's true. Okay. So anyway, wh listen, we brought you on for metal. We talked about metal, which I love. I think this has been great. Um, and do you know anything about metal or... Oh, your dad. Right. Yeah, you have the wrong Ferguson. Wrong Ferg. Hmm. Wrong Ferg. Do you own a knife? I own many knives. What the fuck? Who the hell? What do you mean? Kids like the Joker, except with long hair. What do you mean you own many knives? Like like a chef's thing? You open up Butter and there's... knives, chef's knives. I have oh, man, you being... knives, machetes. Well, nope, okay. stop there. He, he beat me there. The you, so you have a, have a machete. What do you need a machete for? For going to the Amazon. I live in the woods. Brush. I live in the woods. I told you. He lives in New England, so he has to cut brush. Oh. Okay. 
I'm satisfied. All right, your collection of knives is clearly worthwhile to be... Occasional groundhog. What's your drink of oh. choice at a metal show? Water. Mead. Stay hydrated. No, uh, mead. No, I don't, no, I don't no, get no, no, it. No, no. That's after, after the, mead? No, that's in the parking lot after the show. Uh, uh, I went to what see... What you don't want to do is pass out in the pit. Oh, no, fuck that. No, no so one passes like out. Tail, there's like metal tailgating where people are like, to battle! What? Jesus. Is that right? Hold on a second. Skull. Skull! Oh, hey. Hey, good That's to see perfect. you guys. Well, I didn't get him, though, so it's bad luck. Okay. God bless you, dead. Um, I went to see Billy Joel and Elton John in 2001, and there was none of this um, clenched fist, uh, schlabacko. There was none That's of this. That's what I said. So, That's fucking Laverne and Shirley. Shlemiel. Shlemiel. Shlemazel. Hop something something incorporated. incorporated. I yeah. Chris, no. Nope. Uh, you hate us. You clearly want to go. I'm lost. Um, mm. It's just how we do it. Uh, yeah. Are we firing hot enough to melt the kiln of metal and get the energy going? Am I getting paid? Wait. I have one this more question. Money. I we, swear to God. When I think of a metal show, I think of a bunch of dudes dressed uh, much like yourself, being like, "Hey, hey, hey!" But. I want to know about the sure women at these shows. Are there women who are like, I bet your bottom dollar I'll cut you. Yeah. Like, what happens? <laughs> I, I haven't been out in a, some time. Listen. <laughs> no, I need, I need, no. I'm very interested here. Are you feeling what I'm saying? I feel like Andy Richter. You're right? laughing because it's so accurate, right? Yeah. yeah, sure. So wait, what's the truth? The metal scene is the kindest scene on the planet. That tracks. There is, there are no friendlier people in the world, except. No, there are no friendlier people in the world than metal. What about? Oh my God! Wait, I've done research. Mayhem and Venom, the old black metal scene in Norway. They would work out of a record store, and two bodies, multiple churches burned. Okay, you have taken an instance. A fragment in time. That's right. Where I have made a generalization. Yes. And you think that's fair? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say Nightstand was fair. I'm also, nervous. Also, the Satanic Panic? F that, bro. Yeah. Wait, so just um, to get back to the... Rock Against Racism. Right. Rock Saves Lives? That's right. Duh. Which is an actual organization. Fight war, war, not wars. Oh, shit. That's deep, actually. Yeah. What yeah. if I was like this, though? Go. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I was like, geez, I'm tired. I want to get some water. But would I see like a, are we seeing blouses? Are we seeing like oh leather strap God, vests? Back to this. I just, you didn't get to the women. Sorry. Um, battle vests for women? Battle vests? Battle vests. Absolutely. Hey. Okay, Xena. <laughs> all right, Xena. Yeah, That's warrior, good. Warrior, princess. Uh, warrior princess. That's some, right. Some of the best t-shirt designs you've ever seen are made by women. <laughs> Double bullseye. Some of the best vocals you'll ever hear in I metal believe. are from are from women. I'd love you to send me a metal playlist because I got to get my act together. I've heard of I love metal. I listen to strictly you know punk, a little metal and hip hop. But you need yeah. to you need to send me a playlist. I will happily send you a playlist. I'll even post it in the comments. That's a great idea. That's a great We're gonna idea. We're going to post a metal playlist on the Nightstand Instagram. He'll I, probably be like, I can't today. <laughs> I'm very ill. No, no, I've never been sick in my life. Like I was convulsing last September deeply, deeply, deeply. Listen, we've got to get the hell out of here. Oh, Jesus. We but I up. want to thank uh, Chris uh, for coming. I also want to thank you, you for your candor. Sorry if it's called candor, and if it's candor or cantor. it's candor as candor. in truth telling? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I like to uh, enunciate vowels that aren't there. Sir, you are verifiably... Nice metalhead dude, and I love you. I appreciate oh, you. Oh, seriously. Do me a favor. Don't uh, lick my plate. But you did. Oh, oh would never, we sir. would never lick your plate. No. Thank no. You. Unless you're not eating gelatin. In which case, I would lick your plate. And he would. <laughs>